G'day, thank you, MMJ. Hi guys, Daniel Hastings here, and uh, welcome to our November 2019 uh, video blog. And uh, David, as usual, what stats have you known? Okay, just some interesting stats, guys, and what's been selling around the area. And more interesting, the dearer properties that are being sold around Wollongong Regional. So in the regional, the dearest houses that were sold this month in November was actually in Wombara. And the funny thing is, the month before was Wombara as well. Yeah. So Wombara this month was 2,225,000, was the dearest house. Right. And also then the month before was actually 4.1, which is pretty well close to when the dearest house is being sold in the Illinois region. region. Yeah. And for as long as I can remember since that house being sold down in Cliff Road, about 10 to 12 years ago, yeah. 4 million that we sold. Which we sold, or you yeah. sold in particular, and that was a 4 million, so yeah, so it's been a while. Yeah. And we've also got some other stuff coming up now, which will probably be some of the best housing in, in Wollongong, in and around those ranges as well. Yeah, so yeah, we've got an exciting uh, uh, acreage, which we'll talk about in the future as well, I'm sure, sure. Uh, in the northern suburbs. But uh, yeah, um, I think also what's been really encouraging too is obviously market strength seems to be coming yeah, back hey. a bit. Uh, I think we've mentioned before, we've definitely seen signs of that improving since the federal election. So from that perspective, uh, good to see that that's a, a fairly sustained after a good number of months as well. And I, look, for mine, uh, auction clearance performance, rates. yeah, clearance rates and, uh, uh, you know, 70s and 80% is not unusual. Well, in last last week was actually 78% last yeah. week. Yeah. Um, the worst in actually all of Australia was 50%. Uh, which is down, I think it was in Tasmania off memory, but there was one up there at 98%. Yeah. It was just Northern Territory, which is amazing stats. It's, it's, it's really good nationally, uh, and as we say, 70s, 80s for New South Wales and so forth. And I've got to say, you know, when we look at it, since the election, we've had a, a good number of options, and they've all sold under the hammer since the election. Um, so that's really interesting to see. Topping that as well, um, it's going to be interesting to see how the ones go in November. Uh, we've got a good one in Cordell Heights. David, you've got a, a good one coming up in uh, in East Coronel. Um, and uh, the other one which just escapes me at the moment. Uh, I've got one in Coronel as well and one in Mount Usley as Mount well. Mount Usley, that's right. So some really interesting auctions coming up and that'll further uh, be a litmus test for the marketplace as well uh, going into Christmas. Yeah, excellent. Um, just quickly back on those properties before we finish up, there's some really good retro properties. So if anyone's looking for something a little bit different, yeah. the one up in Mounds Usley, and we also just list the one in Mangan and Wollongong as well, which is like a 1970s classic, absolutely quality and huge home. Yeah. Uh, and I'll go back to the one in Mount Usley, it's a real retro 1960s, so something to, to look online, you'll see very, very shortly. It's a sensational property. Jump on mmj.com.au to suss those ones out as well. Not a problem. All right. I think that'll be a wrap. See you next month. See ya.